Right-hander brings it to the plate. Curve ball, grounded slowly right side. Bianchi scoops and throws, and that's the inning. Big victory. Robinson hits a drive to deep center field. Demarcus Ingram going back, won't get it. It's going to bounce to the fence. Robinson's at second, and he will stop there with a leadoff double. Right back at it. The right-hander's pitch swung on and missed. He strikes out Stephen Hill on just three pitches. Kyle Davies looking pretty good here tonight. Curve ball, called strike three, frozen pizza. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Davies. And the pitch. Curve ball lifted to shallow center field. Robinson is racing in, and he gets there to make the grab one away. Davies pitch, bounced sharply to the shortstop. Two hops for Colon. He grabs it and fires, and Ingram's the second out. One to Robinson. Check swing blooper into left field. That'll be down for a hit. And the Naturals have a one-out base runner. A little excuse me check swing, but it landed safe. Pause by Schneider. Now the pitch. Colon grounds it up the middle into center field. It snuck past Jackson. And the Naturals have two on with one out. Davies. Lined off the glove of the pitcher, deflected to the shortstop. Cologne has it and throwing on the run. Got him! Wow, what a play. Christian Cologne. 2-2 two -two is on the way. Breaking ball called strike three. Boy, Kyle Davies has had a nice big breaking ball tonight. There's two gone in the fourth. So Hill is the base runner now for Zach Cox. Two-strike pitch is on the way. Breaking ball, swung on and missed. Zach Cox strikes out for a second time tonight. And the Cardinals once again kept off the board. Catcher sets up in. And the pitch, a fastball driven high and deep to left field. Curtis is back. Get out of here, ball. On top of the bullpen, Cafe. Lisson gives the Naturals the lead. Home run number 11 for Mario Lisone, who got a fat fastball on the inner half of the plate and crushed it to left. Kyle will get the 9, 1, and 2 hitters in the Springfield lineup. Still about 20 pitches or so away from his limit for the evening. 2-0 pitch. Ingram stings it into the right center field gap. Robinson can't get there. It's down for a hit. And Ingram will take a big turn but settle for a leadoff single. Swagger lines one the opposite way. That's in the left for a hit. And the cards have two on to open the sixth. 2-1 the count to Curtis. He's shown bunt every time. Again he squares and gets it down to the left side. Davies will field. Long throw to first is in time. It, no signal as he reaches the mound. I think he wants to talk to Kyle here. Back singles opening this inning, followed by a sacrifice bunt. There's the 1-0. Pulled fair up the first baseline and on down into the right field corner. Two runs will score. Cutler's around second. He's trying for third, and he is in with a two-run triple, and Springfield has the lead. Best fastball in the Royal system. Reportedly clocked as high as 99 and 100 miles an hour tonight. Payoff pitch. Jackson bounces it over the mound. Cologne ranging. Stops it. Spins. Throws low, but picked by Saratelli for the out. What a play from Christian Cologne. And then a nice scoop from Saratelli at first. Cologne going back into his left. Stopped the high chopper. Spun nearly 360 degrees and fired for the out. The 2-2. Breaking ball up and in. Did it hit him? Yes, it did. I think it might have just gotten a piece of his helmet. Salvador Perez. Fine. Will walk down to first base. Pitch to Lee Sohn, pulled past the third baseman and fair up the line. Into the corner, Curtis to try to dig it out, and he puts his hands in the air. Are they calling that a ground rule double or not? 
Perez is in to score. Lee Sohn's still running. He's headed for the plate and scores. Are we tied at three? Base umpire Brian Herzog's going all the way down to the corner to look at this. Curtis was going to play the bounce. Didn't get a bounce. Put his hands in the air to signal the ball was stuck, which would mean a ground rule double. And that is the call now from the umpires. So no runs for the Naturals. Perez has to go back to third. And Lison will be at second. 2-2 pitch. Breaking ball. Swung on and missed. Swagger strikes out swinging. Naturals turn to hard-throwing Henry Barrera to try to get the final out of the inning. Barrera up from Class A Wilmington. Started the season on the shelf. An elbow sprain in spring training. He's made three appearances for the Blue Rocks. Working six innings, allowing two runs on six hits. He struck out 11 down there in the Carolina League. Hasn't pitched in five days. Barrera was with the Naturals the back half of last year. Pitched in both games three and four of the championship series. Worked the eighth inning of both games. The 1-1 pitch. Driven right field. Playable, though, for Myers, and he's got it to end the inning. Henry Burr, great hog star, first-round pick a year ago. Struggling so far in double-A, though. Swings through a high fastball, strike two. So after the injury rehab, the first part of this season, and three games at Wilmington, and he strikes out Cox on a slider down and in. Herrera K's him on three pitches. Beautiful evening. Here comes the 3-2. Low for ball four. Perez walks. And the Naturals will get the tying run to the plate. Mario got the Naturals their run tonight with a mammoth solo homer in the fifth inning. The eighth pitch of this at bat. From Rondon to Lee Sohn. Here it comes. Fastball hit hard on the ground, but right to the second baseman. Duncan tosses to first, and that's it. The Naturals are defeated tonight by a 3-1 to final score. Credit the Springfield pitching as they hold the Naturals to just six hits this evening. And the Cardinals win the ballgame tonight by a 3-1 to final count. 3-1 your final as the Naturals fall to Springfield. We're back to recap it after this on your home for Naturals baseball. ESPN 92 won the ticket. <laughs> 